read the article in the Irish Times where Jane Crow, the chief shop steward, sat in a cell, having been arrested after occupying Henry Street, with a bed and a hole in the floor for a toilet, and she thought, how has it come to this? I'm asking you, Minister, how has it come to this? 175 is the number of days that the Debenhams workers have been on strike. 175 million is the amount that was paid to KPMG to wind down the Anglo-Irish Bank by this date. 11 million is the value of the stock inside Debenhams. 11 million is what it would take to pay proper redundancy to the 1,000 workers and their fam families, the two weeks that were negotiated and bargained for. 11 million also happens to be the fee that was paid to KPMG to advise the government on the national broadband plant, a fiasco that this state is paying six times the cost for and which we will never own. And I want to bring those figures together to illustrate to everybody, and in particular the leaders of this government, that what you are doing in terms of your treatment of the Debenhams workers is disgraceful, it's unacceptable. I walked behind what looked like an army of ordinary working class women towards the Fianna Fáil headquarters this morning where they were protesting. And when I was talking to them and telling them how it looked, how shameful it looked for this state to be overseeing these 175 days of their struggle without getting justice, and said to them, you're just ordinary women, they said, no, we have become extraordinary people. And it's five days now that the workers in Waterford are occupying their store. Last night, an official from KPMG walked into them and more or less said, what would it take to settle this? And they said, negotiate with us. And they said back, KPMG said, no way. This state is the best customer of KPMG. Here's the way to settle it. Tell them to sit down and negotiate and tell them that the state will step aside in its, uh, in, in its, uh, uh, its ability to be able to collect the uh, insolvency money, that it will take one step side sideways and allow the workers to have first preference as a creditor. Thank because you. that's what should have happened under Duffy Cahill. The state failed to legislate. Thank you. you, Minister, are now Thank part you, of that government. And how can you sit there and say Thank that you. it is not possible Deputy. to look after a thousand workers on their, on their families you, while it's possible to throw largest of the state at the big conglomerates? Which side are you on? Thank you.